What's happening guys? So today we are building a set of bunk beds for this really cool tiny house that's going to go out to Lake Michigan on the water. There's been a crane barge that's been manufactured that's going to go underneath this house and allow this whole home, which has a rooftop deck, big kitchen, two bedrooms, set of bunk beds, awesome bathroom, right up on the water. So really excited to get this one out of here and up to Lake Michigan. But before we do that, we need to build these bunk beds. So there's a couple of challenges that have come about with this set of bunk beds. One, underneath here we have a heating plant and air conditioning unit. So this is um, the most efficient unit that I've ever installed. It's a mini split furnace basically, but it's concealed in this small little package and we've ran duct work all over the house so they've got floor vents everywhere and this house is extremely well well balanced when it comes to uh, the airflow. It created some issues though when building these bunk beds. We couldn't just build a set of bunk beds and be done. We had to build this platform which is going to hold uh, the first bed and then the second bed. We had another issue because we can't just screw our frame right to the wall. Well, we can on this side because this is a solid wall. But over here, we have a pocket door. You know, this is just a pocket door wall. So if we tried to screw something through here, it wouldn't have a lot of strength. So what we decided to do is to take these four by four posts, which is just common lumber. We're gonna have our two, like almost like table legs here, and then run our. Uh, our joist supports or whatever you want to call them, just two by fours, but we'll run this way and then we'll be able to put a big ledger uh, board across this back wall that will take the weight. So this way we can cantilever these and then we're going to have a ladder that will come down right here and allow you to get up into the bed. If you can see on the wall, I've got this picture of a mattress and this platform. So we're going to get moving on this and uh, see see where we end up and when we're all done I can kind of go through some of the other steps involved in how to build a set of bunk beds. We'll go across the top like that. So anytime you're doing this type of work where you're trying to put two by fours uh, through, you know, and attach them to studs in the wall. The easiest thing to do is before you put the two by four up on the wall is to just drill your screw through and make sure you're really hitting that stud. And then also pre-drill your, your, uh, your two by fours before, before uh, sending the screw into the stud that's in the wall because you don't want to get hung up on all these different materials and this way you also know whether or not you're in the stud really solid. So this type of bunk beds is more of a loft style bunk beds where we're using the walls as our main support. Um, because of that we're able to kind of frame this out like you would do a deck or a floor or shelf or something in a normal house situation. So what we've gone ahead and done is we've we've landed two screw two three inch screws in each stud so that it's nice and solid we don't have to worry about we don't have to worry about the back being um, not structurally sound and then we're able to use these uh, four by four posts in our corners so a lot of times when you're doing something like this you're not going to have a stud right here at the end to catch. So having a having a lag like this, it really ensures that there's going to be no extra stress on this extra piece of material where we're not able to get to a wall stud or maybe we didn't put backing behind the behind the drywall. So that's why we made these legs like this. So what we did, so you can see this, is we notch these out three ways. So this side is to catch this edge right here, but it's only gonna come to right here. And then our main 
rim or ledger that's going to go across the whole front, we wanted to make sure that that lands really tight on something. And so all the weight is carried through instead of relying on fasteners or something like this because this is going to be your main entry point right so people are going to be crawling in and out of bed constantly putting pressure on this side of it so we want to make sure that we had something nice and solid and on the other side it's a pocket door and we don't have anything to support that so that's why we're doing it this way shall we yes I think this is stronger than the one I have at home. Oh, and me and my three kids go up there. No. Me and my two me and my two kids. Yeah. Alright. Yeah.